So today's just gonna be a very short lecture on just basic math review. And this is more designed just for students who have been out of school for a while, which is what somebody requested for, right? And so the first thing we're just gonna go over is this graph right up here, which is sine versus cosine. And this is depicting sine or cosine of increments of 90. So 0, 90, 180, and so on and so forth, right? And so what we have to remember is that if we draw this graph, we know that at every increment of 90 degrees, it's going to change by a factor of 1. So this green one will be sine, this blue one will be cosine. So sine of 0 is going to be 0. Sine of 90 is going to be 1. Sine of 180 is going to be 0. So notice how it goes 0, 1, 0, then negative 1, 0. Right? And so cosine is just shifted over up slightly. So it starts at 1, then it goes down to 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. Right? So now what exactly is sine, what is exactly cosine and tangent? So sine um, will be opposite over this hypotenuse, so that would be the y over the z. Uh, cosine is going to be this adjacent one, so this x over z. And tangent is just going to be the opposite over the adjacent. Right? And so we don't need to work about arctan or anything like that, um, but these are the only ones we'll need to work with. So now I'm going to be showing you guys these three triangles up here. Right? So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is a 60, 30, 90 triangle, and this is a 40, 5, 45, 90 triangle, right? So let's look at this one first. So a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know the numbers always are going to have to be 1, square, 3, and 2. We just need to try to figure out where these numbers will be placed. So 2 is easy. 2 is always going to be our hypotenuse, right? 2 is always going to be our hypotenuse, um, simply because it's the largest value, and you know the hypotenuse has to be larger than the other ones, right? And between 1 and square root 3, well, 1 is always going to be opposite of 30 degrees. Square root 3 is always going to be opposite of 60 degrees, right? So the same can be seen here. This is a 60, 30, 90 triangle. Square root 3 is always opposite of 60. 90 is always opposite of 2. 1 is always opposite of that 30 degree angle right there, right? And this final one is 45, 45, 90. We know that the numbers are always 1, 1, square root 2, right? So the last one that I just kind of want to briefly go over pretty simple, just sine of 30, well what is that? It's 1 over 2, right? Because remember it's going to be opposite over the hypotenuse, so that's 1 half, right? If we did cosine of 30, what would that be? So cosine of 30 will be this adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? So square root 3 over 2, right? But they're not always going to show the answer as square root 3 over 2 in the answer choices. They may possibly give you decimals, right? So there's a couple square roots that we will need to know, which is square root 3 is 1.7. Right? And you can do the division of 1.7 by 2. 0.85, roughly, we'll just say 0.9. You know, close enough. The big part of the MCAT for the math section is just rounding. And the next one that we'll have to memorize is when we see sine of 45. Sine of 45 is 1 over square root 2. Okay? 1 over square root 2 is also equal to square root 2 over 2. And all I've done here is uh, multiply this by square root 2 over square root 2. Because right? you can always multiply anything by 1. And so if you worked that out on your own, you would see that it's square root 2 over 2, right? So what is square root 2? Square root 2 is 1.4, right? And if you did the math, you'd get 0.7 is sine of 45.